What's going on guys? So today I'll be showing y'all how you can uh, make your own smoke rings, okay? So it's like you do and then there's a ring coming out like that, okay? Uh, I'll be showing you how you can do that. For that you're just gonna need your shisha, of course. It's really simple and I'm still making this uh, tutorial because all of you out there, I mean many of y'all have been asking me how you can do it yourself. Understand it, I'm a fucking bandit. So this is a tutorial where you can uh, learn how to make rings. So there are three basic ways to make it. One is called the cuffing method, coughing method. One is called the pushing method where you push with your tongue. And the third one is the jaw popping method. At the end of this video, you're going to be able to do something like this. So yeah, you're going to be able to do that at the end of the video and it's really simple. You can learn it in maybe like 10 minutes if you have a shisha right now while you're watching. Alright guys, the first method which is my favorite and it is my favorite because I can do it the best uh, is called the coughing method, okay? Alright guys, I want you to do uh, one thing for me if you all are going to learn this method then you all are si whoever sitting and watching this video I want you to cough for me, okay? Like a normal cough. <coughs> Alright? So that's what a normal cough sounds like. Now what you have to do is, you have to cough so silently that only you can hear it. Alright, so it should be that silent and only then will the ring come out. If you're gonna cough like a normal person, then this is what is gonna happen. Oh, there's a ring over there. There's a ring now. Rasta, that's what's gonna happen. It usually doesn't uh, form a ring, but um, whatever, you get the point. You have to cough really softly. So this is how it looks like when you do it correctly. And also, okay, that's the coughing part. Now, your lips should be in the shape of an O. So it should look something like that. So the size of the O of your lips is gonna depend from person to person and how much you're coughing. So it's gonna vary that much, but you have to practice and get this technique. You just won't get on the first time. So if you do it right, this is what it's gonna look like. Guys, I hope you all got that technique. There's nothing to it. You just need to take in the smoke and make the O uh, with your lips and cough ever so slightly that it's only you that who hears it. So guys, the second method is the push method. So what you're doing here, just like the previous method, you're making an O with your lips. But here, your tongue is actually pushing out the smoke first and taking it back in slightly. So, so let's say this is my tongue. So this is what my tongue is doing inside my mouth. I'm making an O. So my tongue is doing this. And when I do that movement with my tongue, that's when a ring comes out. So I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Now guys, if you all noticed, this part of mine was also moving. That's because my tongue is moving. My tongue is moving inside my mouth, so that's why uh, my uh, lower jaw also appears to be moving. Don't confuse this with the jaw pop method, which I'm going to show you now. Uh, don't confuse this with that. This is totally different. But And here my tongue is actually pushing out the smoke. So what happens is when I push out the smoke, it's going to come out. The reason I'm taking it back in is to form that ring shape. If I don't take my tongue back in like just a little bit, then the ring won't come. So let's me, let, me, let me show you what happens when I push my tongue out but I don't take it in a little so guys you can see like there's a lot of smoke coming out but okay there were like somewhat rings but they weren't perfect if I'm not taking my tongue back in uh, the suction or the vacuum inside the smoke is not getting created and that's why the circle is not forming so always remember to do this trick and take your tongue back in very slightly alright guys so the third technique is called the jaw pop now I'm not really great at it but I have someone who is so I'm still gonna give it a try what basically happens is you have to open your you have to take in the smoke keep your jaw open and find a spot where even though you are putting pressure on your jaw to shut it's not getting shut you know you have to find that spot so it, it looks something like that We have a few rings but that's not so perfect I can make rings better with the other method but I have someone who can 
and his name is Abhishek and I'm going to call him and he's going to show us. He always does the job pop method and he's always been doing that. Uh, although I taught him the other two methods and he was able to do it but as you all can see his rings come out really well with that jaw pop method. I find it difficult, he finds it easy so maybe you will find it easier than the other method. Okay guys thank you so much for watching this video. If you hit the like button for this I swear I'm gonna send $50,000 to your place. So whoever is gonna be uh, hitting the like button is gonna get $50,000 I promise. $50,000 or a private Jet, you can select whatever you want. Guys, uh, please, uh, please subscribe, comment down if you want to see me do something else related to Shisha, of course. Don't forget to check out my other videos. In my other videos, I've shown how you can do a smoke tornado, how you can make your own Shisha, etc. So don't forget to uh, check them out. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a good day.